Hi, I'm Stuart Wicker from NAV Sports Getting Started program. Today we have Alison Throssell, who is a sports administrator for Australian Ice Racing, and she's going to be telling us how to get started in speed skating. Welcome. Thank you. Alison, what benefits can you get out of your sport? And what ages can you start? Are there any age limitations? Well, ice racing or short track speed skating is a sport that can be participated at any age. Um, if you can skate, we can teach you how to speed skate. It's a very good sport for maintaining fitness while being a low impact sport. Unlike running, um, it's a lot easier on, on your knees and your body than running. And it's a, a great sport that people of all ages, from, from little ease to, to adults, can compete in and enjoy. We have races in our national championships that start at our, what we call our midgets division, which are our little ease under 10, and we go right through to veterans. We have even um, veteran skating who are in their 70s. What type of equipment would you use for speed skating? Well, a speed skate skate is quite different from a hockey and a figure skate. I have a pair that I can show you. The speed skate blade is, is generally much longer, as you can see. Um, these blades are approximately 16 inches. So dependent upon a person's height and size, of course, you would vary the blade length. Um, there is no brake at the front for a figure skate. There is, you can see there's a teeth at the front of the blade where the blade curves back up to the boot. That's what the figure skate is used to, to jump and to do their turns and everything. A speed skate blade is approximately one to 1.3 millimetres thick and is really designed for maximum glide. The boot is also a little lower than, than hockey and figure um, boots, but is designed for a lot of support because of course, with the tight corners that the skaters go around, you need a real you know, solid ankle support. Excellent. What about safety equipment? For safety equipment, we wear um, helmets. There is a um, ISO standard helmet for, for skating. Um, generally, gloves of a cut resistant material, shin guards and knee pads and for skaters who skate internationally there's also neck protection which is not um, a neck support but it's a cut resistant material just that goes around the neck. Alison I noticed some of the skaters out there today had like a lycra suit on. Yep the lycra bodysuit provides ease of movement and of course minimal wind resistance. So, um, a bit like Ian thought when he was wearing the lycra suit in the, in the in pool. The, yeah so that was made for maximum glide through the water. For, for ours, we don't have the technical, I guess, super glide material, but they do provide ease of movement, um, no wind resistance, because if you're going to wear a big floppy jumper, of course, you're going to get a bit of wind resistance. So when you're racing, you want everything on your side, so you maximise what you can. Generally, what are the participation rates like in Australia? There'd be about two to 300 active skaters in Victoria, New South Wales and Queensland that participate. Our season for racing generally runs from about um, July through to the end of September is our national season. Internationally the season runs from September through to March because it's based on Northern Hemisphere winter. Can you make a living out of ice racing? Not as an athlete, no, but as a, in a coaching position at a national level, yes. Um, most of our administrators and officials like referees and starters and competition organisers are all volunteers. Alison, if someone wanted to get started, who would they contact? Do you have a national website? The National Association does have a website with links through to the different state associations. In Sydney, we have um, speed skating active at the two ice rinks at the Sydney Ice Arena here at Borkham Hills and at Canterbury Olympic Ice Rink in Canterbury. Um, there's information on contact numbers at those websites, but also contacting the ice rinks directly, you can get information on the times that they run the speed skating schools and training sessions. Okay, and do you know what the website is? The website's www.australianiceracing.org. Okay, and is there a phone number that people can call, like a national head office or something? Uh, no, we don't have a national head office phone, but there's certainly email contacts and different contact addresses and emails for the different states and clubs. All right, excellent. What are the costs involved in getting started? To join um, the Speed Skating Association probably varies from state to state, but it's approximately, say, $100 to $150 for annual fees. Then your week-to-week -week costs, dependent upon how many training sessions you attend or skate school sessions you attend, are dependent upon the ice rink charges, of course, just charges from the facility. Um, the equipment, of course, most of the, the clubs will have equipment that beginners can buy, uh, can borrow. 
basics to trial equipment, but the basics that you can probably come along if you've got a good pair of gloves and a helmet. You can use your bike helmet, you can come along and borrow a pair of skates to get started. How successful are Australians at this sport? And who are our leading Australians? Australia has a very good record in, in short track speed skating. We actually have the first ever world champion for short track speed skating was an Australian by the name of Jim Lynch back in the 70s. We've also um, won Australia's first ever Winter Olympic medal, being a bronze medal in the Lillehammer Games in 94 for the relay, and Australia's first ever individual gold medal with Stephen Bradbury's win at Salt Lake City. We've also had a very good record at World Championship level where our men's relay team has won gold, silver and bronze in the relay. Wow, excellent. And who are the leading Australians? Leading Australians at the moment, we have, um, have just been to our World Cups. We have Lachlan Hay and Jeremy Beck, who are both in the national squad up in Queensland. And in our ladies, we have Alex Myra Anderson is from New South Wales, and Tanya Bordelina, Bordelina who's also a resident in Brisbane. And Fantastic. they've just competed with very good results out of the World Cup. So who are the world leaders in this sport? The leading countries would really be Korea, um, China, Canada and the US. Italy also is very good in short track speed scaling. Australia is up in the top 10 nations, certainly in the relay. And we've actually competed in every Olympics since um, short track has been a ratified Olympic sport. And how long, how long ago was that? Uh, the first time it was ratified sport was in Albertville in 1992. And Australia's had representatives at every Olympics. We've also had representatives at every World Championship since the 70s when the ICU first ratified World Championships in short track. Alison, one more question. What other benefits can you get out of this sport? Why do you like it so much? Well, I've always loved, I've loved skating since I was about 11. It's just, I think it's a sport that, that you can participate in, come and have a race, have some fun. There's a great social aspect, of course, to meeting up with your friends every week. Um, I think it's one of those sports that once you hooked, you're hooked for life. Alison, thank you very much for participating in our Getting Started program. Pleasure, thank you very much. Thank you.